Howdy boys, it's MPC. Today we're back for another customization battle with Harm Nun and Twingo. It has been far too long. Um, the holiday season kind of always gets you out, you know? It gets yeah. you away from the grind. But we are back, and uh, unfortunately, if you can uh, not tell from behind, that is my car from the last customization battle. Yeah, I lost, like, so bad. Like, this is the hardest anyone has been gapped in the series this far. I feel like the Roman Empire with how how dominant I've been and uh, how disgustingly I <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, Mr. Twingo, will you this run us there, through uh, yeah. the vote numbers? Yes, of course. In first place, we have Harm None with 273 votes. And in second place, myself, Twingo, at 152. And NPC, finally, at 62 votes. Oh my god, I have lost so badly. So, I'm gonna sell my car right now and then, um... If you guys can't tell, this is the Buffalo STX that I'm sitting in the middle of, which is going to be the car that we're customizing in today's customization battle. It is the best muscle car in the game for racing. Um, also has Imani Tech upgrades and uh, a lot of customization. So that's super awesome. And in addition, it's on sale this week. So we'll be hopping into that right after I sell my car. <laughs> it is the Must wheels, have been. bro. I feel like if I had said earlier that it looks like a Nero from the back, then maybe, maybe would I would have had a too. chance. Cause I kind of let myself get a uh, get on like the entire time before I mentioned it. Yeah, that's, that's, <laughs> I was like, um, yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna bring the pain this episode. Oh, I, uh, it's the STX. I feel, I feel like I've got, I've got like a home field advantage with this car. I've customized it before, and I remember on both of my customization videos for this car, everybody was like, yo. Mm. So I don't know, man. We're gonna see. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Aaron sell his car here. All right, here we go. I'm into the shop. Uh, oh, is it gonna oh. let him though? Is yeah. it going Ooh. to let him? Boom. I'm gonna say yes. Vehicle sold. No Ooh. way. Oh wow. Yo. Let's go. Dude. Hopefully the glitch has uh, been patched. Got my money back. Yes. So yeah, I'm I'm carless. Let's go. All right. Well, do you, I guess. Does I any? Guess do you want to take your winners? Your winners jabs at me. It was yeah. the wheels. Yeah, that's yeah. <laughs> it, it was definitely the wheels that made you lose. And uh, my car looked so much better than yours. And I'm really glad to see that yours is gone now. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Sorry. Yeah. There we go. There, there we go. go. That's, that's what needed to happen. <laughs> that's what uh, I was waiting for. I uh, I changed my crew color today, in Ooh. anticipation of uh, this video. Oh really? really? Damn. Planned ahead. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Little home field advantage. Want to make it though? My car is here, so let me call it. I'll allow you. I'll allow <laughs> you to call standing your there, medicine. Hey, yo. What do you need, boss? Some wheels? I just want to give you a little love tap. <laughs> Man, I feel like them boys out in Detroit right now with all the with all the scat packs and Hellcats just doing takeovers and in intersections. <laughs> here, sir. I'll help you get into your car. Oh, oh so what? Whoa. Jeez, Wait, bro. Crazy parkour. <laughs> you got deeked. Oh my god. So and we're like lined up like fast and furious. For real. Um, oh, yeah. Do we just okay? All right. All right. All right. Uh, yeah. Well, let's let's uh, let's head into the uh, into the agency vehicle workshop and uh, begin upgrading our whips. Let's do it. My boy. Yeah. <laughs> So today we're in the agency because in order to get the Imani Tech upgrade right here, uh, you have to be in the agency. This is the only place you can do so. Um, so let's get into it. Armor first, um, armor platings. We want to throw that on the side. Maybe we'll revisit that. I'm not sure if it covers up any liveries or anything like like uh, it does on the 300R. So we'll come back to that. Brakes, we're going to max out. Bumpers, wow. There are actually several options. Um, I'm really, I'm kind of digging the competition one, but the fins are so big. I kind of like, I dude, I always like using the bars, the bars on the splitters. And I like how it's kind of more, uh, it has like a little indent in the middle. I think it, it has a really nice shape, but I don't know if that fits um, this car. So we're just gonna go with the custom splitter for now to get the trimming um, for the engine. We're gonna upgrade that to max. And then on the exhaust, let's see, we can do one exhaust, two exhaust, um, any titanium exhaust. What? What? Dude, that looks so cool. That looks so cool. The titanium being on the side like that, that looks sick. Um, and I love how it's it's kind of purple too. So we're gonna go with the titanium exhaust. Um, the only, see the only thing with the titanium exhaust is that it leaves these big indents 
Dang, maybe we do go with just like the big bore exhaust because while I like the the titanium side exits, it's like the 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 space in the back is literally built of big bore exhaust. So you know what? We're actually gonna go with big bore exhaust. Uh, it's kind of annoying, but it is what it is. If there were titanium exhausts um, down here, I would totally go with that. But I don't want to leave that space empty because I'm gonna call uh, Twingo and Harmna now on theirs for doing that. For the hood, let's see, we got four options. The vent delete, that is pretty clean. A little too smooth, I feel like. It's almost like smooth brained. Um, we have the front facing vent hood. That one looks pretty nice. Uh, the muscle car hood, that looks so stupid. It looks like Frankenstein. <laughs> like his, uh, his square forehead or whatever. What's the move here? I'm kind of thinking that the front facing hood uh, is the best looking one. So we're just gonna go with that. For the inner coolers, ooh. Let's see, um, I'm kind of, I think the logo looks kind of cool, but it depends if we can mess with the grill. Cause if I can take that logo off, I'll throw the logo in on the bottom. So, but for now we'll just go with the small logo. I think have a little bit of diversity in the front, some brand representation. It doesn't look like there's going to be a grill upgrade, which is good because I think the, the logo, the large logo intercooler looks really cool, but I don't want to double the logo up. I think it just looks stupid. Um, and then, okay. For the Imani tech. There's a remote control unit and a missile lock on jammer. Um, not that this is gonna do anything, but the missile lock on jammer does seem like a pretty cool feature. Not that this is gonna be able to be shown off in this video, but uh, we are gonna do the missile lock on jammer. Um, and then onto the lights. Of course, we're just gonna go Xenon on this baby. It looks very modern already. So we're gonna stick with that theme. Um, for the livery, I'm actually pretty excited for this. Uh, I'm hoping that there's a lot of good ones. That's pretty clean. Ragga Rum is such a cool livery um, on all the cars. I'm specifically thinking of the Drift Tampa right now. Uh, that's really interesting. The half camo. Uh, I'm not a fan of half camos because I feel like it just makes it really difficult to finish out on the other side. Like this is it. This is the customization right here, you know? Uh, I'm thinking we could go with a Cerveza Red uh, and then make it kind of like black out the car maybe. That would look really cool. Um, but we'll we'll revisit the liveries once we pick a color. Yeah, I think I think that's the best option, right? Actually, okay, you know what? We're gonna start with a. I really like the zero gas one, but I feel like there's not enough on the back. I feel like it's kind of front heavy, and it just makes it. I I don't know. I'm I'm kind of missing something like right here. I feel like that would kind of fill out the livery a little better. Um, I am liking the rag around racing, so we're gonna stick with that for now, and see if we can come up with a customization for this, and then. We'll revisit if we need to. So the louvers, um, oh, that's so cool. I like the angled louvers. I do think that looks quite good actually. Uh, and then for the mirrors, are we gonna throw on the carbon mirrors? We're not because I think the livery turns them that bright yellow and I am a fan of that actually. I think the accenting is very, very nice. Um, for the plate, of course, we're gonna go yellow on black. It looks so menacing from the back, being all color coordinated and whatnot. Um, for the primary weapons, we do have the mounted machine gun, so we're going to throw those on so that we can kill Harmon and Twingo uh, once we win this customization battle. Proximity mines, a slick mine, sick. Um, and then on to the color. Okay, let's see. Check out the crew color. Nope, does not look good. Um, <laughs> you could black it out for sure. Uh, I'm kind of thinking, let's see. We might have to go with some sort of like yellow to match to match the secondary accenting. That's kind of what I'm thinking here. Okay, yeah. Oh, is that like a do yellow? The mirrors are so odd. I can't exactly get the color of the mirrors down. Do yellow. No, I'm really liking race yellow though. I think we're gonna have to go with a race yellow. That looks sick. That looks very cool. Let's see, is there any other colors that catch our interest? Ooh, the straw brown goes hard actually. What? I'm, I'm heavily debating this right now. Saying that on race yellow. The race yellow is just so bright. And then it turns the back brown. Um, okay, we're gonna have to get, change the pearlescent off of that. We're gonna make it like a. I'm thinking just like some sort of white, white like cannot go wrong. Bluish steel. Um, I feel like that's not bright enough. I wanted to scream. You know, this car's got to be loud. So we're gonna go with an ice white. We'll revisit the brown after we do the wheels. But uh, for the secondary color, let's see what is that gonna change for us? Uh, the trimming on the inside of the car. Okay. Yeah, it looks like it. So we're just gonna go with a race yellow on that as well. Um, and then for the trim color, let's see. Check it out from the outside. That's so cool. Whoa. Oh my God. I feel like the race yellow interior almost doesn't match the outside. 
but I do like the accenting. So we're going to throw it on anyway. I'm a fan of this. I'm a fan of this. This looks really, really good. Um, okay. And then for the roll cage, let's see, because this is, uh, I don't want to do any padded seats or anything. Do I want a roll cage? No, I feel like that's too much yellow in the car. So we're not going to go with any roll cages. I'm not going to check out any of the other ones because they changed the seat color. And then that takes away from our accenting of this, of the stock seats, which look really cool, by the way, um, for the vortex generators. Let's see. Double vortex gen. Why is that the accented color? I'm so, I'm so curious as to why that is Uh roof scoop. I'm not really a fan of the roof scoops. I do like the fin though. I think the singular fin looks quite nice. So we can do the let's see carbon roof fin or carbon vortex generator. Uh, I'm kind of liking the vortex generator. Looks a little more like dolphin like, and I think this car is is pretty rounded, and so I think it fits that theme. Um, race skirt, secondary race skirt. Let's see. If we wanted to add a skirt, it would be the same color as the livery. Okay, so we're just gonna do the regular race skirt. I think street skirt would add the fin. You know what? I'm kind of digging the fin on this one. So we're going to go with the secondary street skirt in case I want to play around with that color. But yeah, I think the fin just gives it a little more shape. For the spoilers, let's see. We got the lip spoiler, uh, medium lip. Oh, it's a little big. The indented one. Oh, that looks nice. We have the small wing, the race wing, tuner, street, medium. Oh my God, there's so many options for this. Oh, please don't ever throw this on your car. That's, that looks terrible. Oh my God. Okay. It's going to have to be a lip. Uh, I just think that I think the cut lip looks quite good. I feel like that's that's the only option. I feel like even the cut lip is a little big. If it was like the small lip um, with the indent in the middle, I would love that. But I think this one does look really cool. So we're going to go with that um, for the suspension. We are going to slam it. Um, I don't think that's too low or anything. Yeah, I think I think it's fine. Transmission maxed turbo tuned. And then on to the wheels. So obviously we're gonna have to black out these rims. Um, the question is, do we wanna make the tires wide or do we wanna like keep it kind of in this shape? Cause I think that doesn't look bad. Let's see the wide ones. It does look very modern. It kind of fits like the look of this car overall. Not Segoys. I think they kind of just have to be thicker looking. I think muscle cars look fantastic with the five spokes. So we're gonna see if we can find something with five spokes. Yeah, something like, oh, that's beautiful. That is beautiful. The Tropos, uh, the Super Luxes also don't look bad, but I think it's a little, it's a little too far out of a, this car's kind of like ballpark area for the wheel color. We, let's see, we can black it out. I think that's, that's the move here. Um, we could even make them white to match with the livery, to match with the lion. It looks pretty cool as well. Oh, that's so menacing. I don't know, but it's kind of just like, so, it's so dark. Let's see, any yellow or anything, any coppers? I'm really liking these, but I feel like it's not going to capture enough attention. Tire enhancement, bulletproof, we're going to throw on black tire smoke. I think would look very cool with this car. Um, and then for the windows, we're going to go with a, I'm thinking a dark smoke looks quite good. And then, okay, you know what we're going to do? We're going to revisit the liveries just to make sure like I'm doing all the right options. This looks weird. This looks so weird now. Okay. That would have to be a red car for sure. Fukuru black. No, I'm not digging the red on it uh zero oh it's kind of cool how it lines up on the skirt but i'm not digging it so i think the ragaram just does look the best yeah, i think the ragaram looks the best unless we specifically built our car around one of these cerveza ones so you know what we are gonna stick with the ragaram i need to revisit the color see if that brown is gonna work out for us straw brown was it huh no i think the yellow looks i don't know the car the car itself almost looks better maybe it's a darker yellow that we need Maybe, maybe that's what we're looking for. The orange looks crazy, actually. Oh my God, I almost want to do this in orange now. But then what am I going to do about the, the mirrors and everything, the accenting? Okay, I can change the splitter color. Yeah, yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to rock with a, uh, instead of yellow, we're going to go with um, the orange. And then we're going to change all of our skirts and whatnot to uh, the secondary variant. So let's see what we've got here. We've got mirrors. We need to make those. So for the mirrors, we need to make those carbon mirrors. Yes, sir. That looks so good. We don't have a roll cage for the skirts. Okay. For the skirts. Let's see. Oh, it's going to be yellow no matter what. That's kind of tragic. Okay. We'll, we'll come back to that one last. Um, I think bumpers. Yeah. Front bumpers or for the splitter. Let's see, they are all going to be yellow with this livery. That's tough, that's really tough. 
Okay, see, the thing is, I don't think it looks bad with this one. So we're gonna go with the competition splitter. Try to change it around a little bit. I just don't feel like it's uniform is the only thing. Uh, let's see, we're gonna change the interior, make it less yellow. So hopefully the yellow stands out uh, not quite as visibly. Let's see, what is that? The trim color needs to change to, I think that bright orange looks really good. That's like tangerine. Okay, nice. Yeah, the splitters and bumpers just aren't aren't doing much for us here. Um, I think for the oh for the respray, I do need to go and change the pearlescent as well to a uh, an ice white. Yes, okay, and that looks beautiful. It almost looks good with the orange tint. Wait, wait, now I'm just so confused. Oh, not the primary. Oops. Let's see. Okay, this is orange. That's ice white. What are we thinking? I almost like the color being ingrained with the orange. Yo, we could also black it out to just highlight the uh the accents of this but i'm not really a fan of that i do like the uh i do like having the orange on the car this is making it tough dude this is such a weird livery like why is it taking over the skirts like that and not giving me any other option i'm really digging the orange so we're gonna stick with the orange i just like do i do an orange pearlescent see that looks so nice in my opinion oh uh, but we're gonna be viewing the car from the back so i think it is Probably better to just go with the ice white. This is tough, man. Okay, let's see what the car looks like with no skirts. And then let's take off the bumpers as well. See, that looks so cool. Why does it gotta ruin it? Oh man, this looks so odd. I think I think the move is to probably get rid of the bumpers. That's so disappointing. Oh man, but I do think the car looks fantastic like this. So, okay. I think that's it then. Unless we wanted to add a neon run through deliveries one more time just to make sure i'm not a yeah okay it's this one for sure neon where are the lights lights neon do we want like a white neon maybe no i'm thinking this car is mean looking like this so this is it this is the final product and i think it looks fantastic so we're gonna take this out oh he's here hello oh, I am where is he out right now oh it's gonna be a surprise let's see let's see get ready to laugh Drum roll, yeah. please Ready to laugh. I think mine looks oh, pretty good. Oh man. Mm. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. The rag or rum livery, huh? Yes, sir. Rag or rum. Damn. That's the one I almost went with. Is it really? Wow. Yeah. Imagine you both came out with it. That'd be crazy. Damn. That'd okay. Be crazy. Thank God I didn't. Yeah. No. Not. Not if you're trying to win. No. Offered tires are definitely not the move. <laughs> not. Not on this car, at least. Yeah. Um, on. You know. On an off-road car. Yeah. Yes, thank you for your insightful insight, Harmon. You're welcome. Harmon the wise man. Anytime. That's what they call me when I play Quiplash. Oh! Oh man, he's gone the wrong way. Yeah, okay, I thought so. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna beat you. I severely doubt it. Oh, I crashed. Yeah, I... I didn't. So I think... Oh no! <laughs> Instant karma, yeah, bro. literally. <laughs> All anyway. right. Okay, okay, this is this is quite a good hey, line. What the? What the? <laughs> Whoa! What? Oh, what? Wait, give me oh, my snacks back. The gooch. Back. The, gooch, the gooch. That was Rumble. crazy. Wow. What the? All right. Hell? Merry Christmas. <laughs> that was strange. <laughs> okay. You're like nice. a streaker ruin our video. I know. Yeah. <laughs> that was so uh, random, dude. I just saw so some weird. blue dude running away in a Santa suit, and I was like, "What? Aren't we in an invite only?" Yeah, I, I thought I literally thought there was some some dude who got in here modern. Yeah, almost my modern. pants. <laughs> yeah, it was it was a bit scary. Yeah. Huh. All, All right, right, back to it. Yes, All sir. Right. All right, uh, Mr. Mr. Harmon, would you like to run us through your your build? Yes, I uh, I went for the hyper fresh rims, beast mode. They look amazing. They're really nice rims. I the only problem with it with the hyper fresh that I can decipher is the uh, that center cap is yeah. just horrid it but, is mm, but anyway it's I, okay is, is it color matched with the primary it is isn't it or am i tripping with the primary no it, it, it's just like that it's just it's like red that. oh is it just like that yeah it's like a little cream. red bro i see tripping? red what are you talking about he's talking about like the bone white no, like the, 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 oh the, yeah 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 okay okay yeah anyways um that is the one part of those that i don't like i went i went for my uh for, for my new crew color uh, mm -hmm. On the vehicle, uh, very exclusive color, very good looking in my opinion. I like it a like, lot. Looks like mint ice cream. Yeah, it's like yeah, yeah. It's, like, it's like a nice little mint green. It's kind of yeah. nice. It's like it's like it's almost white, but it's not. It's just like it's such a unique color. It uh, is. It's, it's so different. So, um, really like that. And then yeah. I went for the uh, the secondary in black. Went for the uh, the little ducktail action there. 
uh, the angled exhausts because they're the only good looking exhausts for the car. Um, and I stand by that. And uh, yeah, that's 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 my build. Nice. Yeah, no, I like Very that cool. you I like that you put the uh, the the double piped exhaust in the back. I felt like any of the options in my opinion were okay. Um, I did really like the titanium exhaust on this one, but then it kind of just left this like empty like the hole there. Like yeah, there's just so obviously something that's missing. Yeah, so, I don't know I anybody. Think it I could see that now. I don't, I don't know mm. anybody who would go for the titanium exhaust. Yeah, not me. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know anyone who would do that. <laughs> You know, if I could go back, oh, oh my, my god, god, it's so ugly now that I think about it. It's you just know, like so gaping. I, you know, I don't know. It's like you're missing want, teeth. I gotta say though, I gotta say it works with the, um, the, what are those things called? The louvers. It works with the louvers. louvers. It makes the back look so like aggressive and sharp and jagged that it works. Oh, with I the guess louvers. you're right. A little yeah. bit. Yeah. I think yeah. it looks pretty good actually wow. with the louvers. I think it looks um, good too. I just think if you look closely, it's like, oh, what the f is this guy doing? Yeah, yeah, but that's okay. <laughs> Understandable. I'm just I think I'm just... if I could go back and change it, I would probably take the titanium off at least, just mm. have it a bit cleaner. A little bit cleaner, yeah. That's but okay, I'm, I'm quite, like I'm the, quite happy with it. Yeah. I like the titanium personally. It's cute. I think it's it's cute. Mm -hmm. but yeah, Kaya, walk, us, yeah, walk us through your options. Yes, yes, yes. About I don't good. remember the wheels I chose, but they're definitely in they're the endos. endos, endos. Endo V twos. I think I used to choose those like all the time back in the day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, still nice. holding up today. They're nice. Obviously, I went for a pretty tame color, kind of for like a sleeper build kind of thing, mm -hmm. and I thought the lips, the lip protectors, would look really cute on it, and mm -hmm. I think they do actually. I can yes. kind of see. Those people that own them in real life and keep them on kind of assholes, but it does look kind of cool. Yeah, it, it highlights the car for sure. Mm -hmm. I do wish we could do something in the back, though, with the back bumper. Yeah. I don't think we could do anything. No, yeah, there's no options. Yeah. yeah, if we could yeah. add a bit of yellow there, I think it would look pretty nice. I agree. But yeah, and then I have that roof thing on top. I went the for like scoop? the sharper looking run. OK, yeah. One. Roof scoop, boys. Yeah, mm -hmm. I like it. Yeah. Definitely kind of like a Batmobile kind of thing. Mm, yeah, went for. Mm, I see it. I can see it. Yeah, Your car like kind that. of reminds me of like the Lamborghini Centenario. Oh, really? That's that's what I saw. Like, that's the first thing that I thought of. Because remember from Forza Horizon 3 how it's like, yeah. it's oh, like yeah. a graphite with uh, yellow, like, it's like a yellow skirt. Uh, yeah, yellow you're totally right. Highlight. Yeah. yeah. I do like how it looks on that. That's such a beautiful car, actually. It is. Props yeah. to Lamborghini. <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, that's my car. Really cool. Hey, yeah. Good job, Lamborghini. Big fan. <laughs> I actually right. almost went with a build like this too, um, because really? yeah, because uh, with the ragged rum livery on my car, uh, it paints the black half. It paints the back half black, right? Um, and then this lion's got the crown. And so I was thinking about. Uh, I actually had thrown on some um, some skirt and bumper options, but then they automatically get turned into that same yellow as the crown. And I, I oh. kind of like, I don't know. It was too much mix matching with like the citrus colors, you know? So I decided to take off the skirts and the front bumper in the end um, and then just go with like an orange look because I don't know, it was very, it's a little more aggressive than yellow, which was my original plan um, with mm -hmm. the Ragger Rum livery. But I don't know, yeah, that was just too soft. So I went with an orange instead. Um, went with a slightly uh, lighter orange interior because I felt like it, it gave the car a little more life. Um, and then I went with the Tropos rims oh, because ooh. I think muscle cars just look fantastic with five spokes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then for the spoiler, I went with the lip spoiler, which I originally thought looked a little too big, but I think the indent kind of makes it like. Yeah, the oh to say, yeah. I just the, my problem with that thing is I just I just those those like supports in the back. The spokes in me. the back. Yeah. Oh, you don't like them? They kill me, man. They kill me. I, I love think, them. I think I think it works with your build because it's like a more aggressive build. But yeah. Um, oh, I see that. Yeah, but I I do want to I do want to point something out here. Mm -hmm. Um, on, on your guys' build. Oh, wait a minute. Oh. Wait a minute. I don't have anything to point out. Never mind. Yep. Never mind. I made sure I was running Never through mind. in my head. I was like, Never what mind. would he say? Never mind. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> I was uh, what I was going to say is your windshield wiper on the rear window. 
would uh, be covered by by the uh, by the louvers, but it does get removed when you add the louvers on. So I was okay. going to make fun of you both for that. What? But, uh, does that usually happen? Oh my god! I was I was it was something that I was going to try to catch you guys on. Let's let's actually check the calipers just to be sure as well here. That's some next level like. My calipers are next fine. Level detail checking. Yeah, mine is fine as well. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. okay. All right, all right. Well, I have nothing to nitpick. I like, uh, I like, <laughs> Air I like Aaron's car a lot. Thank you. Um, I like Kai's car a lot too. Thank you. Um, I like my car the best. I'm definitely gonna win this customization battle. Um, we'll see. We'll see about that. I, I think I, this could be pretty close. Uh, yeah, I think I think it is. It's gonna be closer to the last one. I think. Um, <laughs> I, yes, yeah. it is. I, I agree. It would probably be harder to be further apart than the last one. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I don't know. I'm happy. I, th I think all of our builds look good. I'm going to be sad to see whoever has to uh, has to get rid of their car. I know. Um, you too. I like mine. I would use it as a daily. I'd put yeah, some armor on it. I'd definitely like to use mine uh, in the future for sure. But I guess I guess we'll have to see. Um, it's not so, up to us. Yeah, it's not up to us. Anyways, I will see you guys later. Yeah, that's about it. I'll add something later oh, if I need to. Collabed. Boom. Yeah. That's some foresight for the for uh for this customization battle. Just so nah, you know. Nah. I'm done getting beat. <laughs> yes, nah, sir. That ain't gonna happen. <laughs> oh yeah, I felt that one come. I was like, where's he spawning? Where's he spawning? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there you go, Buster. Oh, where am I? That's gonna wrap it up for this customization battle of the bravado. That's gonna wrap it up for the customization. You guys cannot say bravado. <laughs> I can't. I cannot bravado. Bravado. bravado, bravado. That's gonna wrap it up for the. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna wrap it up for today's customization battle of the bravado buffalo <laughs> STX. <laughs> I got it that time. I got it. Good job. Um, um, all that's left to do for this video is for you guys to vote down in the comments on uh, whose car you think is better. Um, oh my god. Um, Synchronize. Oh damn! There will be. <laughs> I folded. There will be a pinned comment in the comment section, um, and you can respond there by liking whichever corresponding name um, for the car you think looks the best. Just as a final review, this is Harm Nun's car, this is Twingo's <laughs> car, and this is my car, NPC's car. Oh my god! So you guys no! should go down in the comments and <laughs> vote. <laughs> So you guys should go down in the comments and vote because we're gonna collapse some cheeks this time. Yeah, no, no. That's and then the loser, as always, will have to sell their car, so. Vote high, man, vote high, man. Go Twingo, <laughs> I did better. Anyways, nice. guys, drop a like if you guys enjoyed the video. Comment down below and let us know whose car you think is the best um, and vote as well. Sub go subscribe. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Go subscribe to both Twingo and Harm None. We would all appreciate it very much. Subscribe to my channel if you guys are new. And that's going to be it. So take care and I'll catch you boys in the next one. Peace.